Barstool Sports. Our tight end. Brandon Walker. Mostly sports. Welcome to Mostly Sports. I'm Mark Titus. He is Brandon Walker. Today is Thursday, February 15th. We are live from Chicago. And what do you want to talk about, Brandon? Put your threes up for Dale. I look at that and I just get inspired. Threes up. Yeah, dude. Uh, Daytona 500 on Sunday yep. will be 23 years to the day mm-hmm. that Dale and Hurt died in the Daytona And 500. here you are wearing his jersey, bringing attention to the fact that he died. Yeah, it's called a an homage, homage, a tribute, and ho- homage, a homage. I believe it's homage. A homage, home age, a tribute. Yeah, is this question just popped in my head? Just goes anywhere. You know my head. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon Walker's head is better than everybody else's head. Anyway, uh, is NASCAR? Hmm. Does it have the most difficult entry point for casual fans? Because it seems like a sport that's almost impossible for a casual fan to just turn on and and not and get past the fact that they're just driving fast and turning left. Because that's what it looks like to a casual fan. Is it the hardest entry point for a casual? Yeah. Or I, if the fact that it's a race, it's not that hard to enter. If that's your viewpoint of what's going on out there, you're never going to get over it. Like, right. You're never going to get it. But that. But like. But don't you think most people who, them. who just turn okay yeah yeah but because I because like if you if you if you approach motorsports with that reductionist yeah. viewpoint um why don't you do that for every other sport you're like I don't like basketball you're just taking a ball and putting it through a circle fair like, enough Ugh. yeah football oh we're we're taking the ball we're duh, 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 and then we uh. run it across the line Ugh. like you could do baseball you just hitting the ball with a stick or just fucking hit a st- ball you know. So like if 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 you view racing as like it's just mm-hmm. a bunch of guys turning left, you're kind of not wrong. But How you do you do that view for racing? Um, fucking full throttle, fucking uh, yeah. just uh, let your nuts hang. <laughs> let your fucking nuts hang. <laughs> just <laughs> just feel it. Uh, can you <laughs> can you type that out in a tweet, please, and send yeah. it out? Mark Titus on the Daytona 500. <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> 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 race car drivers are fucking insane oh it's 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 crazy yeah, yeah that's what i uh um i i i don't know every time we talk about racing i uh i i feel like racing is it, it can get into uh <sighs> you have your preferred style of racing and then uh-huh. you argue with other indie car people argue with nascar about which is better and formula yeah. one people think they're the best whatever i love it all i truly do and uh I I prefer the Indy 500 over every other race, whatever. But I do love NASCAR, and I will watch the Daytona 500 this weekend. But um, you go to the Indy 500, and you will. We yeah. will in May. I know. When they when they're hitting like 230 miles an hour, yeah. And you realize if they touch wheels, if they, if they it, NASCAR rubbing is racing. We know that. In yeah. an Indy car, if they literally touch at 230 miles an hour, they just become fucking rocket ships, and they could just <laughs> yeah. God knows where they're going to go. They're insane. Yeah. And they're just – it's like Top Gun on the ground. It's crazy. Um, I look at that jersey, and I think it's a sweet-ass jersey. Yeah. That's uh, the Intimidator. That's Dale Earnhardt. That's uh, – I don't think he ever wore that in a game. No, he did. I don't remember him playing football. <laughs> what? Uh, but was that was that his jersey? Yeah, I thought he, I thought he did. You I think that's game was, used? Yeah. He wore that at Darlington. Yeah, this was – You get sent – You get sent Dale Earnhardt jerseys. I get sent Wander Franco. <laughs> I get sent Wander Franco. Um, uh, do you remember? Can we can we take a little time now? We're we're talking about Dale and the anniversary yeah, coming up. Mm-hmm. What do you remember about that day? I was working at the Golden Triangle Regional Airport. It was 2001, correct? 2001. Yeah. yeah so I was working at the Golden Triangle Regional Airport. I was doing a uh, like a 3:30 to 10:30 shift. And when I got there, we uh, we all sat. We we, were, we worked a plane, and then we we sat down, and we were all watching it. And I'm not going to say his name or whatever. God damn it! There was a guy I worked with. He was about ten years older than me, and he was just mad watching the Daytona 500. Mad. He was just angry, and he said, "God damn it! I hate Dale Earnhardt. I wish he would just die." 
what? And I swear to God, this happened. And it it it's not funny, but uh, the guy it shook the guy up later. And then you know, twenty laps later, it happened. And uh, but but yeah, that was that was what I remember watching it live when it happened and being pretty pretty shocked, obviously. Yeah. And I didn't watch a whole lot of Daytona 500s back then because I believe. Dale had won the 98 Daytona 500 after never, ever, ever, ever winning it. And he won it. And then all the crew, all the pit crews came out and like give him a high five or something like that. Was that 98? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't remember. I what might have a bad was, memory. But, yeah, that but was... he had finally won it. And then, of course, the, the, the tragedy happened. What do you yeah. remember about that day? Um, I was at the, uh, I was at the, uh, we, I, I, we watched the race. Um, I remember it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like that crazy. Like I, I don't know if I remember we watched the end of the race, but Dad and I were watching the race. But the the Lakers were playing the Pacers in Indy that day. Okay. So uh, I a rematch of the finals from the year before. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um. And and uh, I loved Shaq when I was growing up. That's actually why I wear thirty four. I was when I was because when I was a kid, I was I hit puberty before everyone, so I was yeah. like dunking on people, and I mm. I wanted to be Shaq. You were actually a, you were a seven foot tall black kid when you I were. was. Yeah, yeah, I was. That Which was, was my, weird. That was my playing height. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've shrunk a little bit since then and changed you're my playing, race. Your that was my playing color, race. Your program color was black. <laughs> my, <laughs> hey, this program's not right. <laughs> build as yeah, it was build as it was like it's like in wrestling. I'm build as. <laughs> uh, but the Lakers are playing the Pacers. We got tickets. Uh, I went. To, I found out the news. Uh, Dave Calabro, with a game break on the jumbotron at Conseco Fieldhouse, really was like breaking news in the sports world. Dale Earnhardt has died, and uh, yeah, I'll never forget it. It was it was fucking crazy. It was like, I mean, I don't. Well, the crash didn't feel like it didn't. Yeah, because it yeah. didn't feel like yeah. uh, it was that big of a deal. And I mean, the NASCAR they they had a ton of crashes. People forget that that they had a ton of crashes where people died in NASCAR, like leading up to Dale's death. Yeah, um, there were like three or four guys in like a year span that died. I don't remember the guys. Kowicki maybe was one. Uh, uh, one of the uh, um, one of the Petties died. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, Petty had a kid that died. Uh, yeah, there there were a handful. Um, there's no way of, again, as we we're drawing out this conversation Pleasant about stuff. the uh people who. Who passed, and there's no way of knowing who it could have possibly been. As three people are staring at their computers, scrolling through mm-hmm. what I assume are are pictures of big tittied women on on Instagram or something. Or is anybody is anybody uh, caught on to the, the the fact that I would I would love to know who the people mm-hmm. are that mm-hmm. crashed? Before anybody? Dale? I got you. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Is is the answer that we got from Let the go ahead and, uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Kenny Irwin. Kenny Irwin, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah. one. Uh, um, this is just a real fun start. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's. When was Kowicki? Maybe Kowicki wasn't on the racetrack. Maybe he was technically maybe in practice. It it's not fun, but it's it's no. necessary sometimes. We gotta. Yeah, driving a car yeah. is very dangerous. There was. Um, uh, can I give you a quick I, movie recommendation? Okay, what's up? Go ahead. To, to get us out of the uh, a quick movie recommendation, I watched the the other day, Gran Turismo, based on the uh, video game, mm-hmm. came out last year. Uh, really fucking good. It's a it's about all about racing, and uh, they race on the. Uh, it's European. It's not like F one. I don't know what they race, but anyway, it's pretty fantastic. Wasn't there a movie? This might be the same one. I can't remember the the name of it. Where it was a guy who was a video game player, who was really good at racing and then he wound up doing that in real life was that the movie <laughs> why are you looking at me like that you want to tell him yeah that's the movie okay that's what i thought yeah, i don't want that was movie. not an absurd that's question the, i wanted to make sure kinda, it's just a little <laughs> absurd that, that's the movie okay thank you yeah, it was yeah, good yeah, though yeah. No, huh? no spoilers fantastic i was assuming because that's not a very exciting game no no, it's like a it's a technical it's a racing simulation. Sim. It's not a fun. There's no story mode. But they attack it like that. Like like this guy is so good at the racing sim, he actually knows what he's doing, and um, it is a true story ish. I don't know if the guy in real life was as successful as the guy in the movie. I don't. I just don't know. That's a new thing. People transitioning from racing sim to real life cars. Yeah. Yeah, it's that one to one. Now you think uh, you wonder if it would ever happen in other walks of life. Like, would a um, would a guy who's good at being a um, like an Italian plumber just start <laughs> attacking turtles and 
right. snails and 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 whatnot, and and be able to eat mushrooms and get powerful. What's uh, the Mario Brothers' favorite type of pants? Karate. <laughs> <laughs> what? Denim, denim, denim. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. What other video games would make good movie adaptations? Because most of them suck. Okay. All right. Let me stand up for video games right quick. First of all, The Last of Us was apparently a really good show on HBO. Yeah. I never saw it, never played the video game, but it was good. Um, the Sonic the Hedgehog movies are way better than they have any right to be. And they almost sucked, and then people were mad, and then they made them good. They fixed them, yeah. But they they, they're, like, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, way better than that Super Mario. I didn't think that Super Mario Brothers movie was very good. It was a little too... It was good. It was okay, it was but it wasn't as good as the Sonic movies. The Sonic movies the Sonic are, are really. But I, 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 I'm a Mario guy, and I, I went yeah. solid. I was. Like, you were fine, fine with it. I was fine with it. Yeah, it was. It wasn't the greatest thing I'd ever seen, but it was. Yeah. It was worth making, I would say. Yeah, I'm not mad they made it, and I'm not mad I saw it, but I was just to me like Sonic kind of blew me away with how good because Sonic also went out and got Jim Carrey, and yeah. that kind of makes a difference. Uncharted movie sucked ass. Did it with Tom That's Holland? Drake's fortune. Yeah, it was a waste of time. Speaking of Drake's fortune, remember that penis. <laughs> God's plan. <laughs> Earnhardt was the fourth NASCAR driver killed by a basilar skull fracture. Yeah. During an eight-month span following Adam Petty in May 2000, Kenny Irwin Jr. in July 2000, and Tony Roper, Tony Roper in October 2000. So there you go. So those other two must have happened in practice. That's why. They but won. then uh, this is the the silver lining, and I am going to knock on wood, and you cannot use this against me ever um, because I'm so much wood. Since Dale passed, there have been no yeah. deaths in NASCAR. They they took it very seriously. Pretty like, remarkable that they – I mean – Did you see the Ryan Newman saying, Daytona 500 crash like a few years ago? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the that, that, that he, we were all terrified. Dude, the fact that he walked out of the hospital like yeah. the next day was fucking wild. Oh, you remember that feeling though? That was like oh. – we were all just looking on Twitter and wondering uh, what they got. I I didn't remember that until you just said it. But that oh, was – Oh, my God. That was dude, pretty – Horrifying. Pretty rough couple of hours. Horrifying. For us, not for him. I'm sure he was fine. But for us, he yeah. should really apologize. To be yeah, honest. you can't. Um, it is. Like, the more I sit and think about Dale dying, the more it does, like, blow my mind, the circumstances of that. That, like, like imagine if Tom Brady uh -huh. in the Super Bowl yeah. is down four with the ball with yeah. two minutes left mm -hmm. and is driving for a final touchdown and gets sacked and just dies on the field. <laughs> like that's basically what happened, and every, like the whole fucking world's watching it. To, I don't know, it, it's crazy. Well, it would it, it would rule him out for comeback player of the year the next year. <laughs> yeah, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be it. Thursday, re real quick, we're gonna get to your big topic there. But Thursday, uh, run around, uh, Randall Cunningham, Eagles. I believe nineteen ninety two was the year that Jerome Brown died. Might be ninety three or ninety four. But authentic Randall Cunningham, uh, Eagles jersey. Pretty sick, actually. Um, this one got sent to me as well as like five others, and uh, I'm rocking the Randall. You know Randall County Ham's from uh, Santa Barbara, California. I didn't know that. I it know he went my to mind. UNLV. I was at a bar in Santa Barbara, and a guy. Uh, I I was just striking up a conversation with a guy, and he was like, "I'm a big Eagles fan." And I was yeah. like, "That's that's bizarre." And he's like, "No, it's not." He goes, "There's a ton of Eagles fans in Santa Barbara." I was like, "That's that's even more bizarre. Why the hell would you guys love the Eagles yeah. in Santa Barbara?" He's like, "Because Randall County Ham's from here." Mm. Now, were you? Um, I didn't know that. And he, and he tried to tell me that there's a bar, and I'm not saying he's wrong. I would just was, I don't know. I, I I made a note of it that there's a there's an Eagles bar in Santa Barbara that he swears is the rowdiest Eagles bar you will find outside of Philly anywhere in this country. And as he said it, I was like, that doesn't. Compute. I think I could but see also, that. But also, but also, like, you know, and, and he and this was a guy that was like. He was like, I, I've been to Philly. I, I you know, I'm from yeah. Philly. I came out here, and and then I don't yeah. know. It was like he he had his credentials seem valid, and I just remember him telling me that that uh, I Santa do, Barbara has a sick Philadelphia Eagles. Bar. I do like the reasoning that they became Eagles fans because of Randall Cunningham. Because there's a ton of Cowboys fans in Mississippi now because of Dak Prescott. Yeah. So I get that. I will sniff Kizzy on being the rowdiest Philadelphia bar because Philadelphia plays most of their games at 1 p.m. Eastern, meaning that bar's getting rowdy at 10 a.m. Yeah. West Coast. Nobody does anything yeah. at 10 a.m. on the West Coast. Also, Santa Barbara is like the least rowdy place on earth, which is why... Now, were you there as a as a tourist? Were you... Yeah, well, technically, yeah. Um, I was there pre-scouting my death. 
Yeah, I wanted I want to die in Santa Barbara. Um, I've I've made that pretty clear. It's very important to me that my Wikipedia says Dying died, died, and then it's a Santa. So Barbara if you California. get a terminal illness, or... <laughs> <laughs> if you get a terminal illness, you're gonna ship yourself out to Santa Barbara. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you, ha- get, uh-oh, do you have a terminal? Oh god, this yeah, is dude, what yeah. a horrible time! Oh, I hate fuck. That. Holy <laughs> shit, TJ, <laughs> what's going on? Yes. The EA Sports College Football Game is coming this summer. Official. Do we have a date? Oh, it's not. Do we have a date? Full reveal for those. May. College Full reveal football twenty-five May. per the EA Sports College Football Facebook page. The Facebook page that hasn't posted in three years. Just updated. In the last five minutes. Uh, Trailer or, or any, any? Full reveal in May. Okay. All right. Wait. All right. So the reveal is not the release of the game. It's just. Coming this summer. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It'll be the second week of July like it always was. It'll be like July 13th. Okay. All right. All right. I okay. mean. First reported by us. Forgive me for having still a skosh of doubt. Yeah. Just, just a little bit of doubt. But. Um, that is awesome. That's a that's that's great news. And I'm glad better than me having a. <laughs> I'm glad illness. you don't have a terminal illness. <laughs> like I thought it was the news there for a second. <laughs> Imagine if that's how <laughs> it gets broken to you. Yeah, like, the doctor text TJ. <laughs> hey, uh, I know y'all are on the air right now. Go ahead and tell him he's uh, got three months. I don't. I don't want to bother Mark because I know he's working. <laughs> but uh, if you could, <laughs> I do talk to your doctors right <laughs> <laughs> If you could tell him at your earliest convenience. Just pass this along. That it's it's over. <laughs> um. Anyway, great jersey, Brandon. Yep, and you've got, of course, the Dale Earnhardt jersey. Dale Earnhardt, game worn. Uh, game worn. Uh, he played in a football game in Darlington, as you said. Yeah, pre-race football game. They're yep. tossing the pigskin mm-hmm. around. Pretty irresponsible, but yeah, whatever. Uh, on the uh, on the couch, we have. I don't know what Bud City is. Maybe you can oh. go ahead and tell me. This is a. Uh, I think it's a 2017 Kemble Walker Charlotte Hornets jersey mm-hmm. uh, with the the cool piping down the side. There we go. Uh, Buzz City. That's Charlotte. This is the last jersey from my buddy Jack back home. Uh, We're so. out of Jack jerseys. Yeah, no, Connor. Speaking of piping, um, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What? Go on. Never mind. Never mind. I had a serious question. I, and of course, we'll this get to TJ real point. quick. But uh, of course, um, Jake Malisek rock on the Josh Giddy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so who's on the back of that? You want to guess? No, I don't. I who's, don't. This is not a guessing uh, game. It's 2021, 2022. Ty, Ty Jerome jersey oh i should have good I personal should. friend uh, of mine he's not yeah he is he's not call yeah. him text him call I him text him right now facetime him cold ass white boy ty jerome he's gonna come to the office in a couple weeks is he really Cavs are coming to town oh that's sick we so, can, can you book him on mostly sports yeah, yeah. i was trying to get him to come in for the gauntlet and stuff does he um work for the Cavs or work for the who's work for oh he plays for the Cavs. yeah so you could see where that would be cleveland cavaliers you can see where that would be a little sorry that is confusing isn't that a little confusing a little bit but i mean ty jerome is a hell of a basketball player i i the the idea that he does seem like a guy that would spend two two years in the nba and then be and peace out yeah well that's just is is he a solid nba player i yeah dude Play I'm sorry, I don't. He said Cavs. He played for the Cavs in uh, in college. That could be. No confusing. one calls them the Cavs in college. They call them the Who's. They call sure, them the, who's, the Wahoos. Yeah, has no ball. But yeah, Ty Jerome. What'd you say? You don't know ball. Mm. Evidently. Me neither. But Jake, <laughs> tell him. Oh yeah, Brandon might be the sharpest mind we got at this company. Yeah, it's a shock. It's like incredible what he's doing right yeah. now. Yeah, that's on the uh, that's on the prep sheet here. Not meat writing though. No, Most, that's, that very uh, clear. I did, Brandon, uh, it, there's a bullet point that says mostly sports news. Brandon Walker, best gambler in the history of ever? Question mark. And then in parentheses, not meat writing. I <laughs> did think it was meat writing at first. <laughs> I'm glad I clarified. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at that guy. Don't do this face. Anyway. King. Yeah. And uh, is that the tightest fuck me face? Or it's kind of a small. <laughs> he's kind yeah, of mewing. Dude. Yeah, dude. I think that's just my casket face. <laughs> I think what? that looks like I died like six six hours earlier. That does look like a wax figure of you. And yeah. what is this? Uh, our new gambling to? show, Quick Picks, we do every day at 2 o'clock. I, I just haven't missed this week. Haven't missed. Have not missed. Um, TJ, you your jersey. Uh, is the another jersey that I got in Vegas at that awesome store that we all went to and all had a great time at. It's my Fortnite jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. Nerd. Yeah. Nerd shit. It, Nerd, yeah. Was there uh, a <laughs> <laughs> was there tension during that trip? 
I told them to go to this store, and I told them where it was. And yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, here's no, 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 you said in the Planet Hollywood across from the lids. And where that, was it? it <laughs> did you say Planet Hollywood across from the lids? Yes. Did you check to see if there was a problem with those directions? Why would there be two lids in the same place? The DM why is that our question? Why, why, why is that our problem? Why is that our problem? Why is it my problem? Why? Because you're the one that gave us vague I went, instructions. You went to I, it. There's a Jersey store. There's a lids across the say, street. From. No, no, no. Say, say it's right by the, the entrance or something. You said in there... Planet Hollywood by the lids. That's where it was. We found a lids. Across the street was an, a liquor store. Two you lids is the crazy. lids. You didn't say a lids. I didn't know there was two lids. But also the DM brand and God said it was by Chick Fil A. There were two. Oh, I never saw a Chick Fil A to be honest. Yeah. There's a Chick Fil A outside the mall. Right <laughs> by I, I would have known if I saw a Chick Fil A. There was not a Chick Fil A. Also, there let's, was let's talk about the real the issue. Let's talk about the real issue. The store was yeah. awesome. The store sucks. The store sucks. The store sucks had 50% high school jerseys. The jerseys were like from jerseys. Dollar General. The jerseys were like... They're, they're sold. They're, everything was stitched. This Fortnite jersey is stitched. But where else are you going to find a stitched so. Fortnite? Now, nowhere? We do weird jerseys on this It show. doesn't matter they if it's... high school jerseys. It doesn't matter if it's jerseys. stitched, if, it, if it's not an actual jersey of an actual team. Wait, well, you, you, you didn't, you didn't want the Garfield Suns jersey? <laughs> that was the one, the that one was exception. The one that, I probably should have bought. I probably should have bought the Garfield Suns jersey. They had great stuff there. Very weird stuff, but they had great stuff. There. They had jerseys yeah. with like, like, like. Yep. Biggie Small's face on it, and and, and like. I, yeah. Man, we wear these jerseys one time and then never think about them ever again in our lives. We gotta get <laughs> creative at some point. I got a Fortnite jersey on right now. I we got no, that. I, I love I Fortnite. Didn't. Great store. I don't know what they're called. There's no name on it, but <laughs> shout out to them. You remember? Uh, not my. It was not my kind of store. It wasn't my kind of story. Let's put it that way. And plus, we had to go through two lids to get there. Yeah, yeah. The the lids both had jerseys in them too. So that's. Is it amazing start. how long that walk was inside that building? Yeah, Vegas is crazy. How big was, was that building? Walk. That was every walk in Vegas. Yeah, but I felt like we walked a mile and a half inside yeah. a building. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, now yesterday. Your coach got fired. Yeah, he did, and uh, we talked about it on the show briefly that it might happen, and then it did happen. Like 30 minutes later? Yeah, like right after the show. Um, yeah. Uh, I uh, I said on the show I, I didn't love that we were going to do it in the middle of the season. I still don't um, because I was trying to make sense of the rationale behind it. Like I, I felt like there were three reasons you fire a coach in the middle of the season. One is um, – Boinking. Yeah, like something off court is, is – Yeah is absolutely terrible. Um which I which is not the case in 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 this situation. Or he attacked a guy in the post game handshake line. Yeah. You well, immediately fire a guy for that. No, no, that's funny you say that cuz you don't. You actually <laughs> suspend him uh for 5 games and then let him coach later in that very same season that's and weird. then keep him around for for multiple years. Um no, there 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 are reasons to do it. Uh I I I think like bot- the 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 program bottoming out, bottoming the uh, bottom Say it for me. Bottoming out. Bottoming out. Bottoming, bottoming out. <laughs> bottoming memo. Bottoming out. Bottom. Yep. Um, that's certainly one of them. Uh, it. I, I felt like if you keep him around for the rest of the season, I don't think it's doing that much more damage to Ohio State. So I was a little confused. Like, we're already at rock bottom. Like, I don't think Chris Holtman finishing this season, uh, would have done much more damage. But it's become clear to me now that the reason they did this is less about uh. I think like uh, you you know about you brought up the idea of being the first to the buffet table, whatever else. Right. There might have been a little bit of that. I think what's going on here is Ohio State, and I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna necessarily be successful at this. But I think Ohio State is gearing up to make a big swing. I do. I think, big swing. I, I think the reason this happened now get versus the boosters on board. The, you have a a because this new AD from Texas A and M is good at two things. Fucking crook. And it is uh, he's a great, he's a bad he's great at, he's great at, at fundraising though yeah. he's very good at raising money okay well, he's not he's just he's left behind wakes at two different schools and I don't think he's a good AD for you guys but we'll see 
I didn't say he was a good AD. I said he was good at raising money. Yeah. Is he good at raising money or I, not? I believe you're right about that. Did he not give Jimbo Fisher $10 trillion? Now you can he point did. to, like, why did he hire Jimbo Fisher yeah. and should he have given him that money? I don't know. But the fact is he hired Buzz Williams from uh, – this is not me saying I'm, ha- I'm excited about oh, that. Oh, you're right. I'm just, I'm just painting the picture here. This guy hired Buzz Williams from Virginia Tech at a time when nobody thought Buzz Williams wanted to leave Virginia Tech. That was a little surprising when he hired Buzz Williams, but he was like, Buzz Williams – Here's a shit ton of money. And yeah. Buzz Williams was like, you know what? I'm going to leave Virginia Tech. And he football, did this, he got a sitting head coach who won a national title. Won a national title from Florida State. And yeah. he gave him a shit ton of money. And I think what's going on is Ohio State is about, in their minds right now, they are thinking we are going to use the run-up to – because like, you don't really need to start pulling the trigger on guys until yeah. like somewhere in April, like after the Final Four. That's when like yeah. it's go time. You now have two months to call the boosters and say – we you need your money because you we're, going, win? we're going after yeah. Billy Donovan or something. Yeah. Um, now, do I expect Billy Donovan to want the job? No. Um, Brad Stevens? Probably not. Uh, Jay Wright is definitely not. Like th- Those are the three names that like any time a college coach. They're the Urban Meyer like, of your sport. Yeah, those are the three that you toss around as like the dream hires. Uh, Jay Wright's out of the game forever. I, I don't think Jay Wright's ever coming back. I don't think Brad Stevens is ever coming back. Uh, but Billy Donovan, like <laughs> – I don't think it's Ohio State. I like it's not happening, but I think like that's where their mindset is. I like basically what I'm saying is I don't think Ohio State is going to hire like Josh Shirts from Indiana State. I don't think it's yeah. like the up and coming guy. I don't think Dusty May is really in play, and I think both of those guys are great coaches, but I don't think that's where their heads at. I think I think they fired Chris Holtman midseason because they're like we are swinging a big dick and we're going for broke here, and uh, whether that actually means like hiring a good coach or not, I don't know. They could just give like a shit ton of money to a guy who's like not even really that good. And you think we're on the edge of something bigger? Because mm-hmm. I think I think this off season, yeah, I told you this before we started the show. I think college basketball is is gearing up for the most insane coaching carousel the sport has ever seen. Maybe any sport has ever seen. Yeah. Because right now, as it stands, Ohio State and West Virginia are two jobs that are open. DePaul's open too, which is a shitty job, but also sneakily not. Yeah. Like it's it, it's it's a, major it, it's a horrendous job. But it's also you're in the Big East and you're in Chicago, and at a time when the transfer portal is is a viable way to build a roster, yeah, you would think that like someone would realize, like you don't have to like get all the kids from Chicago to commit to you uh, yeah. when they're coming out of high school. What you do is you let the Chicago kids go somewhere else. They get unhappy, and you're like, hey, you want to come back home? Here's it to me. It's a similar comp to Georgia Tech in uh, football. Yeah, like Georgia Tech is is not a great job. They're in Atlanta. Yeah. They're in a major conference, and the transfer portal is wide open. Like, I feel like you can get some guys to come home a lot like that. I don't I, – I, DePaul's not a great – like, nobody's going to – like, Nate Oates isn't leaving Alabama for DePaul, but yeah. uh, DePaul could it, – it's, it's not like a lost cause, I don't think. I think there's there's promise there that you could, like, get DePaul to be competitive, actually. So what could be open? Ohio State is open. Ohio State is open. Michigan West, will West be open. West Virginia is open. Yeah. Um, Michigan will probably be open. Louisville will definitely be open. Uh, Villanova could be open. Yeah. Um, I think Indiana might be open, um, which is interesting because Indiana is in a weird spot where um, Indiana is like super fascinating to me because they can't fire Mike Woodson. They just can't do it. They can't. You, if you fire Mike Woodson as Indiana, you are basically signaling to everybody that like we are a program that's never going to be happy with our coach. Nothing's ever good enough for us. We yeah. we have unrealistic expectations. Um. Because he, he took over for Archie Miller, made the tournament two years in a row. They they had, like, a good thing going. This year they suck. And if you fire him for one bad year, you get tagged as that reputation. But yeah. um, at the same time, I think they really want Dusty May. And I think if all of these jobs come open, there's a fear that Dusty May is going to go to one of those jobs. So they, Dusty they might, May being FAU, right? Yeah, he's at FAU. Yeah. But he, he, he's, he went to Indiana. He was, like, yeah. a manager at Indiana. So, like, he's got the – he will vary. Like, if Indiana offers him the job, he's going so to So now's the, the time to uh, strike with him. Yeah, and their fear might be that he's going to go to, like, Michigan or go to – You don't think he would hold out and be like, all right. I'm I don't know. He might. He, he that's, might. Not, that's a stupid risk on his part. But then the other the other side of Indiana is, like, Mike Woodson is pretty stubborn and he's not going to – so, like, they can't really fire Mike Woodson. I think the hope is that, like, they just kind of nudge him into retirement. But I don't think Mike Woodson's really thinking – Do you think I'm they sit him down like, Coach, when you got here, we were a mess. You fixed it. Yeah, got in a good spot. He did. I, I will say, if this is it for Woodson and he he he's done after this year, 
he did his job. Like yeah. he he did. He didn't bring Indiana back like to national championship good, but like the Indiana was not making NCAA tournaments. They he were plugged the holes. Yeah. yeah, And he got he got like some semblance of interest back in Indiana basketball. And gotta plug pass, holes. Pass it off to the next guy. Um, I think NC State could be open. I think Oklahoma State will be open. I think there's a chance Kentucky could be open, mm-hmm. Brandon. And there, it's a similar situation where it's like. They're not going to necessarily fire Cal, but it's like you have those conversations in the back room where you're like, John, how much do you really love doing this? Maybe a change really... is best for everybody. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better if you kind of like yeah. – here's an idea. What if you like – what if we made you like a permanent AD kind of yeah. like you oversee the program? The GM of the basketball You're the GM, program. yeah. But like we kind of let someone else – John, listen, if you weren't the coach here next year, yeah. just hypothetically – yeah. Who would you pick? Yeah. yeah. And let yeah. him act like, oh, yeah, here's what I would do. Okay, well, let's – yeah. Yeah. Have you ever thought about going back to the NBA, John? <laughs> Has that ever crossed your mind? You got a lot of former players in the league. You haven't mentioned I'm the sure. one you mentioned earlier, uh, UCLA? UCLA. Because that's, that's the other reason I think this this is – so there's there's a lot of coaches, like, on the hot seat. There's a, and, and, you know, like Louisville is going to fire their coach and, and Villanova could fire their coach. There are a lot of coaches that um, – Mick Cronin's a weird one because, like, I think Mick Cronin loves Los Angeles, but I think, like, the UCLA athletic department is is in a weird – like, as evidenced by Chip Kelly wanting yeah. out. To, so you're saying Mick Cronin able... could leave and go be an assistant coach at Ohio State. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I think uh, there there are, are murmurs that, that Greg McDermott doesn't love his AD at Creighton. Uh, Jerome Tang at Kansas State doesn't love his situation there. Um, yeah. Must – there's whispers that he's the honeymoon at Arkansas. I think Musk is going to move. Could 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 be you know the honeymoon could be over at Arkansas. Um, Does somebody tell Nate Oates, hey, if you can do that at Alabama, look, what do you think you could do with our job? Yeah, because Alabama, yeah, is not a basketball school, right? Um, I'm just I'm just throwing ideas out there. Yeah, and then that's the that's the interesting part too is like uh you know Bruce Pearl and Nate Oates are two guys that um are are killing it at the spot that they're at, but um. You know, I'm not necessarily saying they're looking to move, and and why would Bruce Pearl leave Auburn? They they got a great thing going, but they're also like not guys from the South. Yeah. And how much does that factor in that? Like, if Bruce Pearl gets an opportunity to go back to the Midwest, does he does he do that? I don't, probably not. I don't. Well, I think, I think Nate Oates is more likely to than Bruce Pearl. I agree, and but, for this reason, I think Bruce Pearl's in a situation like Auburn took a chance on him mm-hmm. when nobody else was. Right. Right. So he's going to feel loyal to them. Nate Oates, Alabama just hired an up and coming guy. Yeah. And he turned out to be really, really good. Um, And then you have, like, Jim Laranega at Miami who yeah. could retire. Like, they're not going to fire him, but, like, it, it, at some point he's going to be like, I've had enough. And, and they went to the Final Four is, last year. This year has been a disappointment. Maybe he's like, I don't really need to do this anymore. Here's Leonard Hamilton question. at Florida State. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, is Leonard Hamilton at Florida State near the end? He might be. Not yeah. that Florida State's a great job, but he he did a good job with it for yeah. a while, and now he's not really doing as. Good. Well, I think uh, I think um, like Jay Wright retiring has kind of tipped people off that uh, that that this could come at any moment. That like guys could just decide I've had enough at any yeah. moment. So I think like you circle I- Izzo is Izzo has come up. He has to like Izzo every press conference he does. He has to say I'm not retiring <laughs> because like everyone's like. Tom, I'm sure that you know yeah. you're still a decent coach, Tom. But like, does any part of you just think, eh, I don't want to deal with this anymore? And he's like, No, I want to fucking coach. And we're like, Yeah, but Tom, come on. Well, it's Surely kind of the, wanna... it's kind of the crux of of these guys being so highly well paid and the grind they have to go through. Yeah. Um, it's like you you make four million dollars, five million dollars. Say you make five million dollars for twenty years, and then you get to year twenty one, and you're like, I think I'm done. Yeah. I think. I don't ever yeah. have to work again. Yeah, and I enjoy basketball, but I don't enjoy that other shit that I yeah. got to do. So that that's that's one of the things. Um, yeah, it's uh it's an interesting time because the the carousel there 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 are very few coaches. Like here's another one that's like, and you have to be careful when you talk about this because like fans rightfully so get very sensitive. If you yeah. mention their coach. Yeah. I've already mentioned a guy, like, I've probably just mentioned Jerome Tang, Kansas State fans are like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. How dare you? He's not, le- you know, and I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying, like, you could, there are rumors. They're, they're, they're just murmurs. That's all. Yeah. Um, But another one I would not be shocked is Scott Drew at Baylor. 
Let's if see. if the if like if the Kentucky job comes open and they yeah. offer Scott Drew, he's taking that job. It's like Alabama and Kalen DeBoer, right? Yeah. So the Alabama job comes open, it changes everything. And and you know, I I don't necessarily think that's going to happen. I don't think Scott Drew's desperate to get out of Waco, but um, yeah. that's where I don't know. It's 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 a fascinating time. The only, by the way, speaking of like guys retiring, Malasek, Tony Bennett. That ah. I, I you know. That's a that's another Did one. You say nah. like, there were whispers before the the win streak, but now I think he's back. Oh, well, oh so he ask. won he won Hold eight on. in a row in a shitty ACC. Yeah, yeah. I need yeah, clarification. Yes. I need clarification because I've heard several words recently. What's the difference in rumors, murmurs, and whispers? Uh, if you have to ask, dude, I don't have enough time to. <laughs> I mean, you, you said rumors and murmurs in the same sentence. He said whispers. What? Where does scuttlebutt fall in? I mean, look, there's this so many. This is so embarrassing that Brandon's asking, like, <laughs> to be the number one college football guy and uh-huh. you're asking these questions, dude. What about the grapevine? What about people, oh, when people no. hear that? Here, this is TJ. Can we cut the stream? This is Brandon's <laughs> never coming back from this. Rumors and murmurs. You don't know the difference, dude. I think murmurs is the lightest of of all of them. Yeah, Weren't, whispers is probably second lightest. And then rumors are just, it's true. Do some examples. Throw out some stories, and I'll say, we could say if it's rumors or murmurs or whispers. Well, there were certainly some 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 spicy rumors out of Arkansas yeah. basketball this year. <laughs> Those, were... Those weren't whispers. Mm. I think rumors aren't true. I think rumors are true. Most rumors are true. I believe most rumors are true. Now, murmurs are not necessarily true. I see it the opposite way. Really? I you see, think murmurs I, are the truth being said just at a low volume. Yeah. I see whispers being the start of truth. R- murmurs are a little bit louder whispers. Okay. Rumors are just like... Shit thrown at the wall. Shit thrown... Yeah, just baseless speculation. No. Rumors are based speculation. Mm-hmm. Baseless well, speculation well, let me ask you is this. just shit thrown against the wall. What about word around the campfire? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> now you're just dating yourself. This no, no, no. That's the thing you hear. <laughs> that's the thing you hear. Word around the campfire. No. This is embarrassing for you, Brandon. I don't know what joke y'all are trying to pull, but I'm, I'm saying actual things here. When was the last time you were at a campfire? Uh, last time me and the boys went camping. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'd say last summer probably. Yeah. Uh, also, um, March is – spring. spring's kind of coming. Yeah. I'm gonna do so much fishing. Yeah, so much fishing. Camping rules, dude. I love. I'm gonna. Are, we're gonna go camping. You, uh, go you like camping with the boys? I do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like getting out of doors. Yeah. And I, I love being in of doors, but I love yeah. being out of doors too. Nothing better than being in of doors on a cold day. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I think. Uh, did you the- have that moment, by the way, yesterday after? Not yesterday, but two days ago, when it was one thing for the free throw stream to end. But when you finally got done with this show and you walked outside and you realized, I haven't been outside in more than a yeah, day and a half. Yeah, I did have that, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Yeah. This is what this feels like. Because yeah. we've been inside those lights for yeah. a long time. Um, all right, what was next for you? I'm sorry. No, that I was going to ask you, do you think uh, the college basketball, like my feelings towards college basketball, um, do you think it's – the the greater landscape of college sports is at play with all of it. Yeah, I think the the world has changed. We never really talked about Chip Kelly going to oh, not even to, that to Ohio State and like I, I care less about his fit in the Ohio State and more about like you, you, you mentioned a, uh, you yeah. mentioned it before, just kind of the implications of these sorts of things happening. I think the world has changed at large. If you really look at what just happened in college football, it wasn't a by volume the coaching carousel wasn't that big, but by weight of who left and when they left it's pretty like we haven't really processed the fact that the sitting head coach of the defending national champions who built his team up for years and years and years and finally broke through and lost at his alma mater at his alma mater had built them into a program that can now conceivably com- compete on a year in year out basis said no had a blank check put in front of him i'm gonna go to the nfl yeah we the greatest coach of all time just retired from college football. Just got to a point where, nope, I'm out of here. What We had a playoff with four teams. 75% of those coaches are no longer at those schools. Yeah, That's unprecedented. Now, we also had multiple. Chip Kelly going to be an offensive coordinator. The South Alabama coach going to be an offensive coordinator. The, the, and I know that's a lower level. We had – Boston College. Boston College yeah. goes to the NFL to be a defensive coordinator. We had an unprecedented number of coaches go that look like – 
demotions. Yeah. They, they go take lesser positions for less stress, less money, but they get out of college football. Now, I do think the transfer portal and the NIL has created a world where some coaches can thrive, but some coaches just wash their hands and say, y'all deal with this shit because yeah. I'm not doing it. Not, I'm not saying they're against NIL, and I'm not saying they're against transfer portal. I'm saying they're against what their job has become because of the different stressors and different responsibilities and just the changing landscape. Yeah. And, and and I think that is now trickling into college basketball. I think you will see, um, and Jay Wright's a different case because he happened before, but I think you'll see a, more coaches pull Jay Wright and be like, you know what? I'm comfortable. Fuck this shit. I'm done. Or, Fuck this shit. Uh, if it's not like I want out of the whole thing, it's, it's uh, you know, a, a, a deal of is this life raft that I'm in as yeah. like college sports is going haywire. Is it safe? Is it safe? Or is yeah. there another? That's why I think like. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I I think the shuffling of the deck could get interesting because I I don't. You know, coaches that seem happy and in good spots, like maybe they're just like. I, I don't know. That, that's why I find fascinating because Ohio State is you know probably a top twenty job yeah. in college basketball. It's not like the elite of the elite. I'd say but, top twenty. But it's uh you know we're we're a very good program. We have unlimited resources. Um, great talent in the state. Great talent. You know, like you can you can win a national championship at Ohio State. You can. Um. For sure. Okay, sorry. I thought you were going to disagree there. No, for you sure. Took, you took a deep breath. I was like, uh-oh. No, I mean, if you if if you have played for a national championship in the last 20 years, you can win a but national yeah, title. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's any. You absolutely could win a national championship at Ohio State. Um, So, I want – Like, also, a national title just got won at Baylor. Right, It just right. got won at Virginia. Like, right. if you can win at those places, you, right. you can win at Ohio State. And that's um, not an insult. That's just the truth. So, uh – I don't know. I, I I find it fascinating with the coaching carousel stuff because it's just um yeah. How many like like DePaul is a great example. Like DePaul feels like a very shitty job. DePaul's yeah. in the bit. DePaul's in the one conference that cares about basketball. Where basketball runs. Where up. basketball runs everything. Um, you're in the city of Chicago. It is a. They are their program is bad. It is a very bad program. Mm. But you know, in this changing landscape of everything, maybe you're looking around and you're like, I don't want, I don't want my life dictated by the football program. I don't want, yeah, like I, this DePaul's is fucking crazy. Still a name, by the way, that if you hear the name, you only know the name DePaul because they're because of college basketball. Yeah, I think that at Villanova. The only reason people across this country know Villanova or you, Seton Hall, yeah, or yeah. or DePaul as a university, you mean Marquette? Yeah. Like yeah. Th these are all university Gonzaga. These yeah. are universities that are on, their name is only known throughout this country because of college basketball, and that's I think that's a unique opportunity. Yeah. Um. But but yeah, I I also think in in college football, coaches have started to realize life as an NFL coach, even as an assistant coach, is better than life as a as a sitting head football coach in college football because there was a time where as college football, the big separator was pro coaches coach during the week, and then when the season ends, they take a break. Mm -hmm. They take a break. They'll do some scouting. Of course they'll do some scouting. But between the draft and preseason, they'll take a break. If you're a college coach, you don't have a break. You're recruiting all year long, and that's one thing. But you used to have to recruit high school players. Now you got to recruit every player in college, and you got to recruit your kids too. You have to recruit all year long. It's crazy. You have to make sure your your kids are happy. You have to recruit them. You have to stave off other people. Being a college coach now is lucrative and really, really shitty. They say all the time you have to be crazy to run for president. Do you have to be crazy to be a college football coach these days? I think you got to be you. You got to be a little bit of a killer. Yeah, like you got to be. I think you got to be a, have a little bit of a kind of a devious streak to be really really good at it. You got to be willing to look this way when things are happening over there, look that way when things are happening over there, and you also got to be super organized and super laser focused and super patient at the same time and i don't know how many people fit those two bills anyway uh um, yeah college football is you have to be way more insane than college basketball yeah. agree i think you can yeah. i think you can be like a that's a difference in tr having to keep 12 people happy and yeah. even uh, 100 people happy but also you can uh you can compete at, in college basketball you you can be a, a mid-tier program and mm -hmm. still like make that push every so often for yeah greatness but college football is like a slow build to like like if you're ever going to win a national title if, if you take a if you take a random ass school that doesn't have that great of a football program and you're like we want to win a national title here mm -hmm. 
you realistically are going to need like 25 years yeah. before you could actually like if 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 you're like Northwestern say so Northwestern's like we 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 are deciding today that the most important thing to this university is that we win a football national championship the soonest that they're going to do that is like 15 to 20 years right well they're not going to do it but the soonest they would be able to do that's it that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah, like yeah, if yeah, you right. if you invest it, like in basketball it's like if I, I really feel like, uh, like I said this last year when Princeton beat Arizona and they were kind of the Cinderella of last year's tournament yeah. there for a half second. I was like, this is not a – I mean, I get why we're pretending they're a Cinderella because they're a 15 seed. Yeah. If Princeton decided right this second that we want to win a basketball national championship, they could do it next year. They could, yeah. they could compete next year. They could throw all their money, get all the best guys, and like they, they, they could snap their fingers and, and compete for a basketball national championship, whereas football can't, which that's why you have to be crazier because it's just like – so I, I don't know. I already mentioned some teams that have broken through in college basketball. Baylor won its first national title. Virginia won a national title. When's the last time a team broke through and won their first national title in college football? Is it like, is it like Florida State in the eighties or the nineties? Ninety three? Is it is it Miami in the eighties? Like those were the, those two broke through those years, and I think Florida might maybe won its first. Yeah, I'm national trying to title think of the six, but cause I, Oregon's never won one, right? No, they haven't got Virginia Tech. Never oh, got well, one now, one. now you got to be careful with college football because everybody claims the, the, a title in 1938. I don't mean that. I mean, but, I mean or an actual the, national title. The, guy, yeah. the programs that like had a big push, like Virginia Tech, never won, right? No, they played for it, but they never won. TCU yeah. obviously played for it, didn't win. Uh, there have been uh, Washington played for it just now, didn't win. Uh, Washington, although Washington's won, won, won one before. before. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't remember the last time we had an actual. Oh my God, this team's on the scene and they just won the they national just title. Like Baylor burst did. through, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm sure I'm missing an obvious one, but and that's that's fine. Whatever. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> um. All right. Let's get to the prep sheet. We're 50 minutes in. We're just now turning to the prep sheet. That's good. Good sports. Good mostly. No, we haven't even done mostly yet. No. No, we're just talking ball, dude. Is yeah. that okay with you? That's fine. Why are you Why are you defensive? Why are you holler? I don't know. Are you wearing button button fly jeans? Yeah, I am. Why are you wearing button fly jeans? Because they're better. Are they? Yeah. Why? Because the y- y- your fly can't be open if you wear button fly jeans. I think they can if you don't button them. Yeah, but it doesn't. It, it, you button them though, so problem solved. Hmm. Yeah, but the, if your fly is open, you just zip it. There's no fly. But but they. Un- you ever? Y- you ever zipped your dick? We've all zipped our dick. No. You never zipped your dick. I've zipped my dick. Nobody's ever zipped their dick. No, that's. I think that's like an uh, old man. Are you doing? I've never done that, or I have a tiny penis. I have a tiny penis. Hold are on. You just are you just allergic to pussy, or are you just do you just <laughs> want to use all your honest guy? You, you know? want to use all your camera time to to repel <laughs> pussy? Yep. Time out. Time out. Time out. Why did you notice that I was wearing button fly jeans? I looked over and I saw a button looking at me. Why'd you look over at it? Why are you looking at my dick, bro? Somebody come sit in this seat and look at him <laughs> and tell me you can't see his cock. Look, look, look at look at the way he's sitting right now. Jake, get over there. Look at yeah. the Jake, Jake. Come here. Jake, Jake, sit right Jake, here. Come, Jake, come. Don't move. Don't Jake, move. Jake, sit right here and Be see honest. how long you can go without Be looking honest. at my dick. Be honest. Don't Be honest. Move. See how long you can go without looking at my dick. What's up, man? Right in my face. <laughs> it's right in my face. No, it's right in my face. Right in I looked down. I looked I'm just sitting here. No, I looked down. Go look. All right, I got you. Go look. Right in his face. Mostly dicks. Just don't move. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I want you to look at Titus like you're gonna talk to him and tell me. Just, just, just give me the honest, <laughs> honest assessment. Connor, let's just talk. Let's just talk. Are we ready? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yep. Dude, <laughs> that's I mean outrageous. From this angle, it looks like his his dick could be out because you can't see his <laughs> pants at all. Like that's I hope I hope he has no pants on. I just, it's it's it's, I, it's all dick. I like I'm just I turned to look at you and it's like you're taking my picture with it. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> all right, I won't here. apologize no, for no, being. No, no, no. Let, let's just let's have a conversation. Just, <laughs> Dude, I'm. But I'm not doing that. I'm just. We should do a dicks out roulette episode. <laughs> <laughs> One person has their dick out. And we can't tell who it is until the end of the show. Uh, will you guys stop making fun of me for having a big dick? Nobody will said it ever the word big at all? Will it ever stop with you no, guys? No, not one person. All you ever do is big. just talk about how big my dick is. <laughs> not one person That's all said you're the word doing. big. It's just, everywhere I go, it's just there goes Titus with the big dick. <laughs> and it's just, has anybody ever said that here? I've said is it. That once. all I am to you is just a big dick. <laughs> Uh, last night in uh, in NBA basketball, 
and I'm skipping around a little bit. We can go back to that Detroit Mercy thing in a minute. But last night, Isaiah Stewart for the Pistons was arrested after punching Suns Drew, Eubank, Drew Eubanks mm-hmm. in the tunnel pregame, was issued a citation and released. Um, has there been footage of this released? No? Nothing? I have not seen any. Because I didn't know about this until this morning. Now, I I watch sports at night in a very sleepy way. I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll sit there, I'll fall asleep to a game and, and whatever. But I didn't know about this until this morning. I get here. I've got a take about arrests happening in sports things. Okay. I don't want cops involved with shit that happens on the court or even in the top. I agree. That was my that was my instant reaction to this was if this happens during the game, the cops don't get involved. Right. So why like if the if you put your uniforms on, yeah. We don't need cops. I feel like we don't need cops. Yeah. It's, if the it's, uniform is on, yeah. no cops. I think it's between the line. I know it's not between the lines technically. But these two people are not in the same building without those uniforms on, and they're they're getting ready to play a game. I don't know what the beef was. I don't know if it was pre-existing beef or. We have a gift. You have what? a you have a gift. <laughs> what? You have a gift for Titus. You have. <laughs> you just. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. Is that from? Oh, thanks, man. She gave me a mouth like a dollar. You owed me a dollar. I owed him a dollar. Thanks, bro. What, what you got? This is the uh, stand-up guy, Liam Blutman. This is Spencer, I think his name was. Yep. Jerry's ringer who <laughs> came, <laughs> who, sh- who drove an hour <laughs> to shoot knuckleball shots <laughs> in the rim <laughs> and missed his first eight. <laughs> hey, Kirk. <laughs> What's up, Kirk? Kirk? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Liam. Where'd you get this? I assume he, he, he just left it. <laughs> the guy left his jersey. <laughs> the guy came here, shot poorly, and left his jersey. That was so funny, dude. He was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> he drove an hour to be so bad. He left his gloves in the ring. <laughs> retired on the way out. <laughs> Liam, when are you going to sit in on a show? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Dynamite. He'll <laughs> <laughs> like get back to yeah. us. On yeah. All right. Kirk, you getting ready for that uh, unnamed show? Y'all doing that from here? Yeah. Can, you, can I bring up one quick thing? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Sit, get go up, Malasek. Malasek, get up. Have a seat. I think you'll, you guys are, I think you'll find this interesting. You guys are guys talking about. So, uh, the show starts on whatever, like a half hour with Dave and Whitney. Yeah. Um, um, on the court, Big T comes by, and we were at the we went to the UConn game last night. Big T recommended the pretzel. It was the worst pretzel ever. So I said, "You've had a bad week." To Big T, and he's like, "What are you talking about?" I said, "Well, the free throw shooting thing." He's like, "I did a good job during that." Oh no. Uh, yeah. He's like, I made like 75, 75% of my shots. I said, you were a fucking disaster. I mean, that's not even, that's inarguable. Yeah. He's, he said, he looked at me like I, like, he was so stunned. He's like, what are you, I did a good job. So that was the problem with uh, <sighs> Big T's introduction to this whole event. He was built up as a, as a U-level shooter. Oh, he No, he built, I talked to him that he was building himself up. Well, he was, and it well, was. Big T won the free, th- we, we did a I like, where- he is a great shooter. But you were closer to a Titus level shooter than he was that night, and I wasn't close to a Titus level. To be fair, I wasn't close to Titus. Right, but right. but you were closer than Big T was. I was this. I was the number two guy with. We the were the plan going in was I would obviously be the number one. Yeah. Big T, and was again, no disrespect to Kirk, but none. This, I think Kirk was supposed to be number three. Big T was supposed to be the very obvious number two. Yeah. And I think if we if if Big T would have brought the what I've seen from him in the past. Yeah. I do think we had a puncher's chance of doing the. We were talking about this yesterday. Forty-one. We were yeah. talking about this. Yesterday. We could have done it maybe just us before the ringers got there. Yeah, we could have made. We would. I don't. It was unlikely, but we had like yeah. a puncher's chance. But Big T, the way he was shooting during that stream, we had no fucking shot. And not. And not. It's not just the shot because he said he made seventy-five percent of his shots. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. Yeah. But he tapped out. Yeah. That's the real issue. Yeah, He's getting in his own head. He's he gave, yeah. Right. So oh, he did. So. so he can't be like. What are you talking about? I did a great job. You definitely did not do a great. I mean, this is your bad. boss was threatening to fire you during it. You were doing so. Bad. <laughs> really? That's, did that happen? Yes, that happened. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, it was. <laughs> yes, that's the and that's the difference of expectations, right? You were very mum about how good you were going to be. I, you you have said on your show that I'm a very good shooter. You told me you were a very good shooter, but I don't think anybody expected you to be that good. People expected Big T to be better than you were, and that just wasn't. But but I, I see what you're saying. But I'm going back to. Like, if you have a bad night shooting, if the moment's too big for you, that's fine. Yeah. But there were moments, we were talking about this yesterday, where, so Titus, was, for us, was clearly, like, the A guy. Like, yeah. Before the, like, he handled most of it. 
but I was kind of a, a, a key bridge guy. We needed two. Key, we needed yeah. Big T in yeah. spots. Instead, we've got you know uh, fucking Hank throwing up shots and yeah. Rico, and yeah. it was we couldn't we couldn't get it together to get to that second Dave Mulligan. And so you know we and Che and these guys who were all trying their hardest, but instead Big T is like sleeping or he's pouting, and it's like well, it, it, like we're we're here, we're all here for this, you know. Yeah. I mean, Which you were is, sleeping as well, but I'm saying, you know, <laughs> but, you're terrible. You weren't making any shots. Yeah, that was. I benched myself early. Yeah, but you knew it. I benched Brandon myself early. Levy, but your expectations weren't like big T's. Yeah, so. Brandon leaving was actually the best move for yeah, Brandon. It helped everybody. It helped yeah. everybody. Brandon not being there. Yeah, Brandon not but, being around is better for everybody. Big T. That's bad enough that he did that. But you're saying now that he's trying to like gaslight us all and to, yes, thank you. I've, I'm really never sure what that word means, but that's that's, yes, what, that's what it means. That's I also means. don't it's understand like, what that word. I just well, that's what it means is that we all saw it and now he's trying. I can say it. Rewrite what happened, and so, so he's calling. He's so got, he is calling me a liar for telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what. It is. Okay, yeah, okay. And he right. and what he's trying to do is make you go home and like rethink what happened and be like, that's yeah, never, maybe that's, he's trying to convince that is you not of his happen. truth. Maybe Big T right. was awesome, and I just misremember it. He was good, but he was not a big moment guy. If no, Big T came in with expectations like Rico and shot like he did, yeah, you'd be like, oh, good, good, yeah. good nice, like yeah. nice upgrade. Yeah. But he came in, he told me he was really good, and then he was okay, and then he quit. And now he's telling me out there, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, the basis. I, I, the I, basis I, I, Big T it. didn't fuck Michelle Obama like Rico, Rico did. Um, he fucked her differently. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, he did. The basis for the but, the challenge was Big T and I shooting 53 in a row. Like, that's like when we told everybody we hit 53 in a row, I think Dan was like, okay, so we can definitely do 45. And he was I, I, a I, cucumber during I, that. I think yeah. we're 45 minutes away from Big T telling us that he made all the free throws in yeah. the final <laughs> one. <laughs> the lead, like, I think he started, like, he's the guy from New Hampshire. Like, yeah, I, I, don't even know what's, I don't even know what's real anymore. I'm sitting there like, do, do we, I, I said, I was like, you fucking tapped out. Who was in the final run of forty one? You were in it. No, the drip, the 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 boring guy with the Cavs shirt. The Cavs. Yeah. That was a mistake. Yeah. I should have been instead of that drip. Yeah. That was bad. Uh, uh, I only shot, I only made five. I, 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 I made you the did. next five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tate, Titus, and the yeah. guy from New Hampshire. Mantis the guy from New was in there, wasn't it? Mantis. Mantis. Yeah. yeah, those were the five. And, and David Dan. And David yeah. Dan. Oh, also, yeah. Mantis probably number three on the night, right? Or or, or at least two or three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he sure. he emerged as he was he was yeah. great. He would the Rocky start, but then he got rolling. He was. I think there's two different groups for this. Like I know this thing's already two days old, but I think there's like two different. I think there's the guys who are in the war at the start. Yeah. Like four o'clock group. Like that's a different crew. Like yeah. And then there's yeah. the guys who came. Even Mantis yeah. who was great. Who came in later. Well, there there was guys and like me who who were trying to help at first, and then it was quickly recognized we were not going to be a help, so we had to be you know, replaced. Subjugated with your egos. You did the classy thing. Uh sure. Others, others. I'm not gonna say others who were there at the beginning, who I might be friends with, the trivia partners with, tried to fight through. Didn't quite understand that, like, hey, sometimes it's just not your day to dance with yeah. the devil. You know, like you, you got to step aside. Like Che, for I example. Did, che, for example, saw that he wasn't. I did guy. at the end. That's what I was gonna say, Kirk. I have immense respect for him because he, you, you and I were carrying the whole fucking thing. Right, like I couldn't have fourteen hours, and then Kirk. Uh, <laughs> and then Kirk. I love. Every, I love. I'm sorry. Yeah. I love everyone's like around the. Co- nobody ever says anything nice about me. Everyone in the company's like. Like it's amazing how positive and great Kirk was all night. I'm like, yeah. Like during the night, I did threaten to break your coworker's <laughs> jaw. <laughs> like, let's. Like, You're trying to take me out back and kick the yeah, shit out of him. Yeah, I, I, which I probably would have got my ass kicked. But like, but like, like only me were like, boy, he was really classy the whole night, except for that one. Well, you were, except for that like five minutes. Yeah, where I threatened yeah. to kill a coworker. But now, are, are we going? Am I going to have to come rehash that on this this unnamed show? Because I really don't want to. No, we. I, I've said well, that. me and you are. Yeah, I yeah. never. How often do you said heard me say like I was 100 percent wrong? Yeah, yeah, I was 100 percent wrong. And it was one of those things. It was it was five minutes of shit and. And then immediate, was, immediate regret on both sides. Like, well, that you was. Should, you had not, I, you, you, there's plenty of it to apologize for in the past year. Yeah. But that that one. But that was a stupid five minutes and whatever. So, so good. I don't want to come read I feel like I understand Kirk better now, too. I think everybody does. Because I, 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 I would say. I, I, told, I told you this off air, like, because we got into a, whatever you want to call it, on the yak. And then uh, I said to you, I was like, I just don't. My whole thing is, like, I just don't really know who you are. Like, I'm still, like, feeling out who Kirk is. Mm-hmm. And after the free throw thing, um, I feel like I, I know you a little more, and my respect for you is like through the roof. So, um, thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I I feel like I'm I feel like uh, I'm in a better spot moving forward. It's really, for, is uh, always this warm in here? Yeah, dude, so it's, it's, it's hot as shit. Fucking yeah. shit. Do you, do you yeah. like it like this? No, no, we've been, no, we've been complaining incessantly. For... We've... Why is it like this in here? I don't know. It's the only room that gets like this. It's <laughs> what awful. the fuck? You do a show every day? Every, every day. day. Every I would day. never. I never. complain. Yeah. I, I, I yell. I bitch. And don't you have any poll? Yeah, obviously not. No, no, I don't. <laughs> it's it's eighty five degrees. It, it. Yeah. It'll yeah. get up to seventy. Is there a temp? Is there a right behind Malice? What does it say? It's 
It doesn't no work. No fucking way it's 74 no, degrees. It's, it's, it's touched the highest. Are you allow this? It doesn't work. They, they, their uh, yeah. response is, we can't figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Are we allowed to discuss? Oh, Jeff D. Lowe coming in. Are we allowed to discuss your private life on this show or not? No. <laughs> We're not? What part of my private life I got? Who all went somewhere? Well, yeah. I mean, it would definitely be who. <laughs> yeah, it sounds okay. private. Somebody who I like. I like TJ a lot, but I think somebody who likes TJ hates my guts. Ah. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, they don't? <laughs> no, we can't just go. Okay. Interesting. My fucking guts. Which I don't, I don't, I understand why some people hate my guts. I don't understand. Okay, Kirk, here, here's, no, here's the difference. Like, we've done this. Some people I get, some people I don't. But here's the difference. The, the people that don't know you right. are quick to hate you, right? But that's what I, that's what I was saying. I, I, like, think, I think this person we're talking about seems like a very nice person. Yeah. So I don't. That's what know. I was saying. Like, DJ, Kirk, I would just say no hard feelings in mind. I didn't know. The yeah, only I, way like, I knew Kirk was I would, along, right? I would be this tagged person, in tweets right. where Kirk's like calling you. me a pussy. Thank and Kirk's like, I'll fucking kill Titus if I ever see. And I was like, I, I. I just don't know this guy. I've never talked to this guy. Like, where is this coming well, from? Well, Titus, your reaction on the yak where you're like, I just want to yak it out, man. It's not a great moment for you. But it, I mean, it was genuine. I was like, I don't know why. I, I, I'm like, just call me an asshole. I don't care. But I don't want to call you an asshole. But I was I being an asshole. But I don't know you, so I don't, like, feel comfortable calling you an asshole. It was just like a very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was well, just like a blind. Doesn't matter. Moment. We've been we've been, we've been, the war we've been is, war together now. We've been in the war together now. We've been. What are you doing? Now. Why are you here? Jeff, What's going on here? This is an ambush. How many shirts do I have to buy to sign this board? You want to sign the board? Sign the board. Like, like eight shirts. Here. Sign the board. Never, never been invited. There's a sharpie right there. You, you don't even like him, and he's part of the. Family. I do like him. We, five bad minutes. Five bad minutes. Brandon and I. I think the sneaky things. Brandon and I are actually friends. Yeah, we text often. Yeah. Yes. I, I, to, for you to come in here and beg to sign the mostly sports board is a low. Thank That's God, a, your, thank God, yeah. your father hey, you know to see you do that. I, mean, that <laughs> I watch. Oh my God. I watch. Can I, can I please sign the mostly sports board? <laughs> I watch. I watch Jesus two shows. Fucking day. Christ! <laughs> I watch two shows. Hey, ga <laughs> hey guys, can I sign the mostly sports board too? <laughs> a lot of people on the board. What a moment! You're in the family. Wow. You're in the family in the show now. Though. Yeah, your family. I barge my way in. I want to. I want. That's how up, people do. I want to bring up the fucking crazy. You saw this. Big T said he did a good job at the free throw thing. I, I kind of had to walk away. It was a little crazy. Disgusting. <laughs> you were you were. There was a moment the other night where are we just I sucking could, each other's dicks? I mean, yeah, what are we do. fucking doing here? No, no, no I'm not. Not. Let me right. let me finish. Oh, sorry, this sorry, sorry, no, sorry, dude, sorry, please. Sorry. Yeah, there was a moment suck. the other let night suck, where let him suck. This I'm feels gonna, good. I'm where Titus. So no, no, this is not a not a dick suck. Where you said, and this didn't become a moment. I was kind of surprised. You said the big T. You said you were just hit like maybe ten in a row, and you said, hey. Come hit like come hit three for us, and he said, "Why don't you hit three? Yeah, and you. Oh, is that true? I, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I was That's surprised crazy. by your restraint at five o'clock in the morning because you kind of just shook your head, and I could tell he knew that you were about to maybe say something. And he went up and he hit two, but when he said that, I was like, uh -oh. he was trying to he might have it. fight number two tonight. Well, what would job. happen is like every so often, it wouldn't even be like a massive moment. It would just be like uh like Dave hit the first one. We're only on like sixteen out of forty one or something, and I would turn to Big T and I was like, why don't you go? And he'd be like, why don't you go? And it, <laughs> and he was trying to say it in a way that like he thought the moment was too big for me. He was trying to pin it on me like I was trying to get out of shooting because it was too big for me. And it was the exact opposite. I was like trying to give confidence to him. And I don't, I could just see on his face. He wanted no part of like any free throw that was double. Like once we hit double digit streak, big T was like, I, I cannot do this. Parenthetically. And this is again, about death, I guess. And parents, I was with both my parents when they died. And it was less depressing than seeing that DePaul crowd last night. <laughs> I was gonna. I, I wanted to ask you both about that. Yeah, like, what was the? What an awful yeah. fucking. Everything about it was depressed. It was all. It was UConn people. Even the UConn people were just kind of like, we're here to kick the shit out of them. Yeah. The crowd was sad. They have like a, the worst super fan of all time. Everything's terrible. The food was terrible. The atmosphere was terrible. The game is over from the start. You know, I've got like, yeah, there you go, right there. Oh, look By at way, that. That guy in the middle with the glasses, big. Minda fan. That's all I'm gonna uh, say. Really? The third Hurley brother. And I think right I think uh that checks out you, actually. You, you do I think look Luke Murray like is brother. too. Yeah. They are psychopaths. The yeah. Hurleys. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, we might yeah. do a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Just Andrew, to drive Andrew, just Hurley. to drive Rico crazy, I think I'm gonna do a podcast. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Just, really turned we're not gonna talk about college basketball. <laughs> we're just gonna talk about I'll talk about the only thing I know about is I'll talk about like nineteen ninety one Duke with him and like his yeah. years at Seton Hall. Her Whoa. kid turned to Spider was like, "This is for you, Spider." Never got the ball. Yeah, shoot. But I'll say at the end of the game, he was taking selfies with like a. He was great, like yeah. super great to everybody. I'm, I am a converted UConn guy. Saddest program in the country, though, and I don't think it's close. DePaul. That's you're, you're that's, my. You're well, how old are you? I was asking this. Forty four. So like when we grew up, DePaul was Joey Meyer. I've already yeah, said. Yeah, it. we were yeah, talking about yeah. this yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. DePaul mattered when we. When yeah, we like grew up, you know, yeah. for me it was like Aguirre, and then like every year they were like seventy nine Final Four, right? They were, yeah, they they were in the Bird Magic final. They lost in the, Bird had that great game against Ray Meyer against yeah. Indiana State. Yep. But they, uh, but like every year they were like in the top twenty. They were pretty good. Joey yeah. Meyer was a pretty good coach. 
They've been awful. Last night, Mark Aguirre was there at the end of the game. Looked like he was 70 or he probably is. One, of, one was, of two retired numbers. And they announced in the middle of the game, they're retiring three numbers this year. They're like like all Perry, the stops. Perry Cummings are required. And like the crowd was like, yeah. All right. There was, yeah. No, there was yeah. no reaction. At one point. It was like the, a Mean Girls live show. It was like, <laughs> it was just, it was zero. At one point, the f- uh, fan was in the court. By the way, Jordan Woodruff is probably better than, than most of the guys. It has more personality. <laughs> what were they doing? They were guessing, they were showing pictures of cheese and people were guessing what the cheese it was. Wait, depressing. It was, it was, it was <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Now, did you did you craft this entire trip to Chicago just to go to the UConn game? No, I, honest to God, he no, did right. I, no, I, I swear to God, I actually forgot they were even playing here until Dan brought it up. You did Sunday. not. I you s- got front s- row seats. So you did that on the at the, at the very end, there were fourteen. So I ho- there were fourteen I, people at the fucking. Okay, I do, you could have bought them. But I do. Oh, it is it Wintrust? Yeah. Okay. I do. Bad. I'll take this the wrong way, Jeff, because I do love you. I'm I'm a Jeff D. Lo guy. Um. But why were you here this week? I had to get a lot of dozen social stuff. Okay. I was going to come at the end of the month. I'm trying to come like once every month. He produced my show. Okay. I told Dan. I'm no, gonna, I'm fine I'm, with it. I'm not. I told I'm Dan not. I'm going to come here like once every other month or so. And then he was coming here for that. Yeah. Which I was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to be around that. I don't, I think it's stupid to miss big stuff like that. At the company. I thought, I thought when you said you were coming to Chicago, I thought you were coming for the free throw stream. And then I saw you on the X shoot the basketball. Yeah, we weren't going to I was like, yeah. I was like, no, so why? He's going to bring us pizzas of... today to crash the yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> That's mean. Um, <laughs> it's not no, mean. I was going to get a bunch of dozen social stuff, and then I, he said he was coming here, and I said, well, you need help producing. I'll move it to this week. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, I like having you here. No, I like popping in now and then. I like having you here. That was literally like came a, here to write his name on the fucking board. Yeah, that's what it was. I did. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> really go. it. Go ahead, Jeff. I'm, I'm in front of everybody. I, I have a pathetic life. You know that? That is true. We're good friends. That is true. That is true. Go ahead, Jeff. There's the board. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. I'm going to watch you sign this board. Go ahead. Yeah. Go sign the board. Should I sign it by? <laughs> okay, oh, now sorry. you're being. Go yeah. sign the by you. Sign the goddamn board. Just sign the board, Jeff. Hey, sign on one of the letters. Nobody's on a letter. I would say this at dinner last night that came up with Spider, me, and and Jeff. I've talked to you about this. Yeah. Why don't you just do this fucking wrestling thing again and just get guests on? Like, what's the what's the? Hint? I can't get a producer, and I, I don't have the time to learn how to edit. I should you wouldn't learn produce how to it? edit. Do it on this show, TJ. You would do it, right? Do it live. TJ's on too busy. I'll, I'll, you wouldn't do it, TJ, for an hour. If you should... did it live on this show, and then it benefits everything. But if it's yeah. just a, if it's just an interview show. That's no lifting at all. Yeah, you're right. I, I should do it. It's just it's hard to find time in the, the schedule. But I, and when, when we get to the summer, I think I'll figure out how to finally just stop bitching and do it. That'll be good after WrestleMania. It's a good strategy. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good move. Yeah, always yeah. fucking two steps ahead is always. SummerSlam's big too. That's <laughs> huge. We're gonna have Cody Rhodes and Roman, or Cody Rhodes and Rock maybe, or Roman Reigns and Rock. You know what I think? What? I think you don't want wrestling to come back. I think you having that chip on your shoulder. Yeah, you like that. Yeah, I think I think over people. I mean, if, you're Mister Chip. You, if you Brandon Walker that. is given everything that he wants. Yeah. Brandon Walker ceases to exist. Do you is is Harry excited about the lead up to WrestleMania? Because it's it's pretty hot right now. It's yeah. So he's not as into wrestling as he, he's still into it. He's into WrestleMania. He's confused by the storyline, which I think they have clearly pivoted on. Is The Rock nobody to him? The Rock is the guy from Jumanji. Yeah. and that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and he doesn't like Cody Rhodes's neck tattoo. Well, uh, we are all kind of torn, which is a big one. mistake. Yeah. That's a historical error. But so he's he's now is he getting older. He's about being seduced more by the bloodline by the uh oh the yeah. bad guys yeah, yeah he's now embracing the bad guys as he gets older who it's was older. the first bad guy that you got into I, mine was mr perfect i was like fuck he's kind of cooler than everybody else because mine was chris benoit around 2007 june 2007 <laughs> yeah yeah was it the <laughs> go ahead <laughs> nothing i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i bought the weight bench right after <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, All right so I gotta go do this. Dunk. Unnamed show. What's the? Give us, give us a tease. What are we talking about? Do we think? Free throws, no, I'm I'm sure. no idea. Yeah. We have, my, my producers are idiots, so I end my show early. Is that fucking? Doing are you it. producing or are they doing it? No, his his we his show ended early today because they can't run the YouTube. So he keeps crashing, and they're like, he ended. Do you know Coleman? You must know. Yeah. And Coleman's like, I don't know how. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I'm fucking done with the show. I don't want to look at you guys. I'm done. So I'm sure we'll do on this unnamed show. I don't want to sit there and ask Dave Portnoy questions about this fucking dog. I'm worried I'm about you I'm 50 fucking today. years old. I don't care about this dumb dog. His dumb dog voice is annoying. He was like, you know me, give it's creepy. Sounds like a fucking loser. Like, I don't want to sit there and interview. I don't want where in the world is Dave Portnoy. Like, Eddie, I get that. Eddie, Eddie did, they did a good job. Yeah. Whitney doesn't care. I don't care. Okay, Whitney. but don't turn it into where in the world is Whitney either, because y'all just going to talk. You're going to do the dog, Dave's dog voice to Whitney about the hockey thing last night. Oh, I, I mean, I, I would curious his reaction. We'll do a little yeah. stuff like that, and then we'll fight about something. You said last week you weren't going to talk about Rico much anymore, but I feel like that's going to come up again. I'm Rico'd out. I have nothing to say. Everybody's always Rico'd out, but everybody pushes right through it. Rico is 51st in the league in scoring in truth. <laughs> There's 54 players. He's fi- Before the year started, he complained he wasn't all dozen preseason. 
And after we lost, well, he his never game. answered a question right at the live show. The audience gave him the fucking question. Absolutely, I'm not. I've never disputed it. <laughs> the. Uh, but it's your fault. But the. Um, uh, but I'm 21 and one in the niche questions. The only time I ever missed was in the championship game against you guys. 21 and one. After we lost, remains the other of day, the day. Remains of the day. After we lost yesterday or two days ago before the challenge, Rico came up to me. I'm 21 and one in these. I'm the four time MVP probably or whatever three whatever. Rico's 51st in the league. He comes up to me. He's like, you know. Maybe we should stop mixing and asking me the niche question. <laughs> and I was like, Rico, answer a fucking college Kirk, basketball question. Kirk. Team player, you can let him do it. Give him the ball. See what happens. But that, but that, but that's not the point, though. He has to get focused. I don't know. All right. Who knows? All right, boys. Go do, do this. Go All right. Kirk Thanks, Minahan, guys. Jeff D. Lowe. Appreciate it, boys. Jeff D. Lowe. Let the record show he came and basically sucked our dick to get on the board. Yeah. Go ahead, Kirk. Go ahead. Please. Wherever you want. Wherever you want, man. Kirk Minahan signing the board. I've never been this close to Alex Sorcy. <laughs> <laughs> Did Jeff really sign a letter? Because that's a selfish-ass move. Yeah, he's the only one on a, on a letter. Wow. Yeah. All right. Unnamed show in 15 minutes, guys. You uh Yeah, you told him to sign the letter because no one else had. And yeah, he, he just did it. He I, just I was, did it. Thank you, Liam. Yeah, that that was the best part of that whole thing. Liam was just standing there in the corner. He yeah. had no reason to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would have liked a fan or Liam, do you want to the college football twenty five trailer? Is it out? It just came out. Yeah. The trailer's yeah, out. Liam, Liam, sit down. Sit, sit down, down, Liam. Get up, Malasek. Fuck. Malice. <laughs> what do you keep? Watch <laughs> it. All right, we're gonna watch the live twenty NCAA twenty twenty five trailer. <laughs> Liam, you excited? Yeah. Hold on, let me talk to Liam real quick. Now you're twenty four. 25. You're 25. So the last time they had this game come out was 2013, 11 years ago. So you were 14. So that means you probably played this game a lot. A lot, yeah. Okay, all right. A lot so of the other ones as well. Okay, good. So you're you're fired up as I am. I'm invested, yeah, but I've had my doubts that this game will never get made. All right, let's see it. Oh, it's a good start. We're gonna get any uh, screen activity here. We're gonna get any actual game footage, or is it just gonna be this? I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. Got okay. something special for y'all. Okay. A little update for our fans from the big house to the bayou. Please. From Carolina to California. <laughs> oh, Jody <Charlie> Messina. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's about college football. We know you love it. Yeah. Us too. Uh huh. Show me something. Rivalries. Comebacks. What the fuck, man? Let's see some gameplay. Generations. There's nothing like Oh that. my god. Turns out it's not We've coming. It's not too. happening. Show me the game not happening. Oh, oh. They're pre alpha stages. So let's address the big owl in the room. Yeah. We've seen the posts, the predictions, uh -huh. the doubts. We get it. It's been a minute. Was, let's just say this ain't the only jersey we've been working on. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. The game this sport deserves. Yep. Cause pretty soon, do it, do it. This place will be full again. Show me one thing. Do it. Until then, cue the crowd noise. Do it. Do it. Okay, now show it. Now show name. it. That's a long jersey name. Show it. What the fuck, dude? I've got thoughts. What was that? That was awful. The that was horrendous. Play, the gameplay looks outstanding. Though. You've <laughs> got to give it to us. To display that level of gameplay, I'm all in. I can't wait. So what, the game, you're just going to be stitching jerseys? Is that? <laughs> I'm so ready for that. Is, there's a jersey stitch? I'm mark? still excited. I'm still excited because they have confirmed the game is coming. It will happen this year. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I'd like to see uh, a little bit. Uh, Texas I don't know. State alternate jersey? No, it's not coming. That's I, how my dynasty's coming. going? Equipment manager yeah, mode? The, yeah. This is like the news coming. You know good and goddamn well <laughs> if they gave you a game where you could design alternate jerseys for Texas State, your ass would be all about it. A hundred percent. I'm excited about equipment manager okay. mode. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this, is, dream come true. this is like the local news on Christmas Eve coming on at like 7 30 and being like uh oh we have spotted santa we have an update, we have an update. people are saying the santa just passed through uh the west side yep. and he's coming he's let's look where he is now he's oh, in oh, norway there, oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. 
What a waste of time and effort they put into making that. It was a trailer to say Jeez. it's happening. We're not going to show you, yeah, that's but we can confirm it is happening. I mean, like, they showed like pre-office stage like renders and shit. That's way bullshit. Was they're, I su- they're way further along with it. If the game's going to come out at any point this year, they're further along than that. For was me. I supposed to know who that guy was? I don't have. I think it was just a guy. Okay. Uh, can, can they just? I just want them to answer what the fuck they're going to do about nil because I'm very concerned that we're, there's just going to be no stars in the game. If they're just going to be like, everybody gets $1,000, half the players are going to opt out and be like, all right, you can't use my... my, yeah. my, the trans- my I don't think they will. I think if you gave most players the op- the chance to be in the game and get $2,500, $1,000, I think they would no. say, yeah, I, w- I would do that. Most players, most players aren't star player, players. But not the good players. None of the good players. But if they're not, the, the good players aren't in it, what's the point of playing? Right. They would just be the same okay, thing. See, here's the, here's the thing about that. I don't care if the good players are in the game. I don't. Give me a game with the, the stadiums, the fans... The uh, the the uh, the jerseys, the likenesses, all that. I can make the players. I can do that. I recruit anyway. Five year, you know, uh, a week after I got the game, I'll be five years into a dynasty with fake players anyway. We're very cool with just going into a dynasty, starting up with QB number sixteen. I, I'm fine. Including Johnny Joe at quarterback. I'm I'm absolutely fine. Just then, give me but, that. But then, if that's what you want, why do you need a new game? You also, what was that. the you point? You can just go do that on because I need it on tw- PS5 levels. I need it. I need and, it and now. And the gameplay progresses as we uh, saw in the trailer. But it's so what was the what was the point of waiting a decade then? I don't know. We it wasn't our choice. Yeah, we I, didn't I, do I, it. This is O'Bannon's fault. Did we didn't do it. It's O'Bannon's it fault. Of issues. O'Bannon's fault. Guys. Ed O'Bannon. Charles O'Bannon didn't do anything to anybody. Correct. I, I'm going to say like something right now just to measure expectations. This game's going to suck. Oh, this yeah. It's going to suck ass. This game's not uh, There's two, There's a decade of hype. There's no way it can live up to a decade. Exactly. It's not going to live up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Brandon, I grow need, up. I grow up. No, I'm man. not going to grow up. This game's going to suck need ass. This. My whole it's college. I failed out of college because of this fucking game. Dude, okay? this game's going to suck. You're a child right now. It's time to grow up it's and not realize gonna suck. this game is A, not coming, and B, going to suck. Even though it's not coming, I'm, it's still going to suck. You suck, and you suck. You don't suck. Now you're lashing out. Now you're I don't know about you. You kind of suck, he's too. Lash- Connor, he's just lashing out. Give, give him time. Let him blow off the steam. Listen. He's... I'm saying that, how important this game is to me. Yeah, I'm, and I'm saying that now, not necessarily believing it. I think it will be okay. I beat you with a but rubber I, hose. But I want to measure expectations. Like, just get in your I head that this game is going to beat you to death with a suck. rubber hose. Because there's a very good shot. Because I think the gameplay, the way it's progressed, is worse. It's Yeah, it's more realistic and everything in Let all these football games. Let me say another thing. Let me say another thing. The Madden games everybody complains about every year, they're fine. They're fine. Exactly. They're fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Said, they're I fine. enjoy them. I enjoy okay. them. Everybody who says, oh, my God, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. Madden is good. Madden is good. So if it's just a copy of Madden with, with, with Notre Dame helmets and Michigan helmets and all that, yes, sign me up. Hope it's a little better than that. But sign me up if that's it. Just give me the fucking game. I don't know. No, that's that's a bad attitude. The, the that's... shots of the Rose Bowl there looked immaculate. <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think you. Well, imagine that. playing at that venue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm so excited. Uh, you you look at. Yeah, it was a great trailer. <laughs> great trailer. They the guys really stitching stitching jerseys. But could, they, they couldn't. They couldn't give us I'm gonna like predict one the option. They, they couldn't they, give us one option. They couldn't give us. One. I'm gonna predict the future that if this game comes out, you're gonna you're gonna sit in that chair and be like, I can't believe this shit's all over the legacy of NCAA football that they threw this half-assed product together. That that it was the greatest game of all time. They took ten years and this is what they came up with. Listen, I've been through this with Star Wars, Brandon. I want I want you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. No, it's the same thing. It is. I'm just saying. It's the same thing. This is a great comparison. Go ahead, Connor. This I, I'm. So when they switched from Han Solo to John Luke Picard, that bothered you? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, you, you you spend years wanting something to be great. It doesn't always work out the way you thought it would be. TJ, can we run that trailer back and just kind of <laughs> look in like very closely at Big Al and the attention to detail on Alabama's mascot because I'm excited for mascot mode. If they even have it, we don't know. No, I mean like mascot mode, like a different version of Road to Glory. Not final, it represents a game in development. This is what the game probably looked like a year ago, if yeah. I had to guess. How sick this is, is not a game that could come out this summer. How is that? That, they, Look, that they was fire cool. features. The Nittany Lion? But that looks like it's from PS3, PS2. That, yeah, 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 that you could have made that in 2004. This is like pre, pre, pre any gameplay. That's 2003 Oklahoma's entrance, too. That's not even what's going on nowadays. Wait, hold on. Was that Tennessee Stadium? Yeah. That oh, okay. That's just a stadium. 
Gatorhead. I don't. Oh, there's football players there, but that's from like an intro. I don't like that they didn't show one speck of. Oh, d- he's right. Big Al. Looks <laughs> Big Al was coming good. together. Big Al was coming together, boys. Looks good. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Does Big Al have blue eyes in real life? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not, not really. Also, attention. this is all we got. Do the mascots get any cut of the uh, nil? They all right, now, now, now. Oh, good call. I'm just looking out. Mm-hmm. For who? For the mascots. Play the they don't even tell us who they are. They they, they run in shame when they drop their head. Cosmo. <laughs> oh, Cosmo. We might have to go Let's back. Run into some mm-hmm. Remember the duck? I, I do, but I remember Cosmo, BYU's mascot, doing backflips last year, and the head falls He off. lost his head? Now, he's the one that dances oh. with the dance team, right? Yeah. yeah, and, like, goes through fire and everything. Do they, like, uh, at basketball games, throw him – don't there's a BYU that does something that uh like all the cheerleaders like take him and throw him from like the three point line for a dunk. Sounds like a BYU oh. and Cosmo thing. <laughs> yeah. I think you're thinking of old school, Mark. Um <laughs> there goes the head. There he goes. There he goes. Was that in <laughs> Star Wars Day? Was it? What? No. This they were playing Colorado. Yeah. Okay. It's I see uh, the clock, clock this is prime. It's prime, oh, yeah. it's prime it's prime time. No wait, no it's not. I have the one of Oh Chuck fuck. Wait, yes, actually it might be. <laughs> just still not 100% sure why he didn't just reach down, grab the head and put it back on. Mhm. Well, but All right, Liam, thank you. Yep. Thank you, Liam. Fired up you, for Liam. the game. You, yeah. <laughs> you want to sign the sign while you're in here? I already did. Cool. You've signed Oh, the yeah, sign? no, he's he's moved delicioso. What? Ah, uh, yes. What? He's got the he's got Moose his delicioso. sticker. Delicioso. He's I, moved to, he's moose. That Bye. didn't make sense. He did it on his own, but he didn't want to intrude. He didn't. No, well, he, he did put it, it on a sticker. He he did it last week. He came here and politely asked. Okay. He did right. it last week when you guys weren't here. Thank you, Liam. Malice, can you get up? Yeah. We don't know who else is coming in. Can we do the national anthem we, at some point before I? I yeah, he he did put a, on the prep sheet. Yeah. Oh, there was a shitty anthem awesome. in the Bulls game last night, and I did not watch it, so I would like well, to react to that. It's been a great episode. It also uh, it was not the Bulls game actually. It was. I, th- I believe it was Celtics. Next. Whatever a fucking game it was, it's all that matters. It's, like it that's doesn't a, matter. I feel like that's, that's important. Kind of too. important. We were about to shame somebody in Chicago, and and now we got to shame. Also, speaking else. of Nets Celtics, you wrote here: Nets lose to Celtics by legitimately fifty points, one thirty six to one eighty six. <laughs> well, I legitimately, I said legitimately because when you say someone lost by fifty, it sounds like you're exaggerating how badly they lost, but they actually lost by fifty. Okay. So I, I saw a stat. This is their third fifty point win of the season. They're the third team in NBA history to win three games by 50 points or more. Joining the 1992-93 Sacramento Kings and the 1978-79 Indiana Pacers. And NBA both champions. those teams fucking sucked. Oh, wait. Huh. <laughs> it, was, it was just a weird – like the 92-93 Kings were not good, at least from what I remember. They were like Olden Polynes and – maybe Dominique Wilkins was on that team. Otherwise, it was it was, it was was really, really bad. Anyway, um, where, where, where are we at? You want to do the anthem? Anthem. I sent it to TJ. Okay. That's who you would send it to, so you're off to a good start. Yeah, the 92-93 Kings were 25-57. And, and they won three, three games, three by, games 50 by 50 points. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's crazy. All right, go. Oh, this is – hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Dang. It's fucking elementary. It's goddamn kids. It's These the, kids are seven it's years old, dude. Terrible. And I love it. Jake. I loved it. You, oh, it was awesome. You come in here and you put us. Yeah, on, no, yeah. Get this awesome. on a team for us yeah. as kids. Nah, fuck those kids. <laughs> Learn how to play your goddamn instrument. This is kids. That was unreal. <laughs> Jake's, Jake's the musical oh. expert. Yeah, at no, school. fuck those kids. Yeah. I played in the band when I was in elementary school. It did not sound that. I dog played shit. in the band. <laughs> I played the trombone, and that was so much worse than what I was doing back in the day. The way you said it. I thought so, a singer who thought they could sing just botched it. That's why I, I thought this was Fergie at the All Star game. Well, put, turn that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> They're in elementary school. This is not bad oh, for seven so year olds. That's bad. <laughs> no, it's not. Also, it's if you know you're that bad, like they practice this, like just say no. It's not their choice. It's, it's not so not bad. It's not their choice. Not if, you're, if you're the guy in charge of those kids, you got to be like, guys. They're not bad. They're seven. <laughs> That's There's bad. a difference. They're not ready for the NBA. No. Holy shit. Like, go do a DePaul game. And yeah, then, do like, a G League right. game. Yeah. That was really bad. 
<laughs> I've seen a lot of bad anthems working minor league baseball. That's that's a bad anthem. That uh, was a, that, that was that was great. They're seven years old. Uh, this yeah. is crazy. That's like watching the fucking kids play the this halftime is, this show. Is America. Fuck you, basketball. No, this, is Amer- this is the problem with America today. Is everybody Jake, gets a trophy even Jake, if they suck when the, ass. When the youth are right. playing during halftime, they're playing basketball. We're There's letting a, these kids go through life fuck thinking you, they know how to they play a goddamn instrument. You yell at a dose of reality. Fucking insane. You're you're never invited back on the show. That's fine. Get him out of here. Fuck those kids. Learn how to play out of trumpet. Get him out of here. Thanks for having me the past two days. That was fun. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Good job, Jake. First ejection on the show? Yeah. Jake, get the... Can I, can I sign the sheet? Yeah. Sign the sheet. Get the fuck out of here. Boom. Oh, my God. Boom. These kids. Jake watches kids. When do we just start letting people sign? I don't know. Sign? I like it, though. Well, did Jeff... I, mean, I understand Kirk and Jeff, but we're letting Jake sign the sign? Jeff has, like, seven of our shirts. So that's, Je- Jeff yeah, has Jeff, bought our yeah. shirts, yeah. We have family. Shirts, by the way. Okay. Bye, Jake. Bye, Jake. Oh, we have a member of the family coming in tomorrow. You're good with that? Yeah, that's fine. All right. I don't. I does it, it, whether I am or not. I mean, the store has just become. Well, I did ask. I asked. Yeah, you are. You did, but I'm. I'm more speaking to what happened today. That it's just. It's that just an good. ambush. That was good stuff. Yeah. Just an absolute ambush. They're seven years old, Brandon. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know what he he. If 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 you're an elementary he band, thought he, was, he thought he cooked on this one. He if he you're an cooked? elementary band and you're playing a song and I can identify what song it is, you've done a great job. Also, how about this? You've done a great job. How about taking nine year old kids, putting them on the court in a fucking NBA game, surrounded by twenty thousand adults? Yeah. You think those kids were nervous? Dude, they killed it. That's. I mean, it that's, was. It was it, that's a low point. It wasn't good, but. No. It was probably it was, good for them. Dude, were you ever in a in a band or an elementary school fuck choir? Me, dude. Yeah. No, you th- you think I was in a band? Yeah, you were too busy. Come on, dude. You gotta yeah. play instruments. <laughs> I was in the Southside Elementary Choir when uh in, in, in 1987, 1988, but I think it was just because Mrs. Johnson, the the or Mrs. Hughes, excuse me, Miss Lucretia Hughes, I think she just needed to meet a quota of white kids. <laughs> And she got to our name by by my name. I'm I'm Brandon Walker, so I was one of the last ones to audition. She hadn't met her quota yet. So she's like, "You're in," because I couldn't sing at all. Mm-hmm. But there I was, sitting next to right beside Antoine Walker, walking down Main Street in the Christmas parade, singing "Santa Claus up on the rooftop." Bum bum bum. There I was. We had one girl, Corinne, who could sing, and and we all just kind of. I did do choir in junior high because you had to do like one music thing. I guess, mm, yeah. and uh, I was just Buzz from Home Alone too. Yeah, when he's you know got the candlesticks behind mm-hmm. Kevin's ears. You were a, that, you that were was, a I was I was just a dick bag the whole time. Shit. Yeah, I was. Uh, Corinne Everson. I had her name wrong. It wasn't Evans. It was Everson. I think. A beautiful, beautiful gal. Wonderful singer. <sighs> that upsets me. I don't like ending the show on that. Can we can we go to one of his silly stories and then get out of here? Yeah, we'll do. One. We did. We Even did. No, I think him. the audience is uh, the the unnamed show is starting now, so they're probably gone. So let's just yeah. do it for us. Um. MLB sh- jerseys being terrible. Oh, have you seen this? Yeah, uh, I've seen people's reactions. Silly. I don't know that I look at the these jerseys and be like, "Oh my god, they're so bad." What what makes them bad? There are pictures of the players wearing them. Uh, they look spring cheap. Spring training, very cheap. Burst everything. It looks completely different. Are we can't, throwing the? Can't say I care. Are we throwing the pregnant sting Rachel tomorrow? Are we going to keep? <laughs> That's the Matt Damon of this show. I I don't get the reference. I do. I, 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 Thank you. I do Don't explain it. Oh, it's the Jimmy Kimmel thing. But oh, I, I want to. Oh, sorry. But yeah, look at the look, look at the difference between these two jerseys. The one on the left is from last year. The one on the right is this year. All right, let's. I I. They don't I, look that different. I, 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 yes, they, they do. That different. I can't bring myself to care. Name is half the size. Oh, sh- oh fuck! <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that changes everything. <laughs> We're a jersey. It's also. Oh, can you pull it back up? I mean, it's also a shorter name. It, the yeah. jerseys are half the height. What I mean, what, what I, we, this is this is the, the definition coloring is totally of, different. This is the definition of the internet finding something to. As a Jersey show, you guys should take. There are some other really really. We're bad only a Jersey sh- show on Thursdays, and today is. Take it. He's right. They they look like the jerseys where you go to a game, yeah. and they're like, oh, the first hundred people yeah. get a jersey. It looks like those jerseys. It looks like you got them screen printed in. That looks fine. That one right there looks fine. Don't care. Fuck. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's not worth. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That's a classic baseball story. Let's go regroup. That's just, that's that's ridiculous. I wanted to talk. I'm just gonna read one silly headline and go. We'll go. And we're not gonna talk about it. Okay. I just want to read, read the headline. I'm just gonna read the headline and then we're gonna end the show. Uh, which one am I gonna go with? Uh, 
Woman tossing trash, falls into dumpster, survives getting compacted in garbage truck. All right, that's the show, everybody. We will be back tomorrow with a special guest. Uh, thank you to everybody who stopped by and ambushed the show. Um, it actually was great. I thought it was a fun episode. I and I knew you were going to read the second one there because I can't. All right, we'll do one more. Uh, what? Little monkey driving car to harvest fruit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the show. See you guys tomorrow. That's how ball is done. Oh.